Hi children of God and happy Sunday sa lahat ng nanonood ng ating Sunday School sa oras na ito. I hope na nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan, nasa maayos kayong kalagayan. You are all safe, you are all healthy and happy like me. Today, we will learn and talk about the good news. Ang mabuting balita, ang gospel. Pag-uusapan po natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng good news, kung bakit natin ito kailangan malaman, at kung bakit natin ito kailangan i-share, i-spread sa lahat ng tao, and kung ano ang purpose nito sa ating buhay. But before that, let us bow our heads and close our eyes and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this another day, another opportunity, Panginoon, na malaman ng iyong silita sa araw na to. And salamat, Panginoon, sa panibagong buhay, panibagong lakas, panibagong blessings na ibinigay mo po sa bawat isa. Lord, we pray for your forgiveness sa aming mga nagawang kasalanan. Malit man to malaki, sa jama namin ng dealer, God, dinis mo ang aming puso ang aming isipan, Panginoon. And we pray, God, na ikaw po ang magbigay sa amin ng wisdom and knowledge sa pagkatalakay ng aming lesson sa pag-aaral, Panginoon, ng iyong salita sa araw na ito. We thank you for this another day. We thank you, Panginoon, sa pagmamahal mo sa iyong papuri pa sa salamat. Sa tayong pangalan mo lamang, Jesus. Amen. At ngayon naman po, kids, ay may papanoorin tayong video clip at dito natin malalaman kung saan, kailan, at paano nagsimula ang good news? Tara at panoorin natin ito. God's story, the good news. So part of God's story is about the gospel or the good news. And it goes like this. In the beginning, God made everything. The sun, the moon, stars, planets, the entire galaxy. And earth was part of that creation. God made mountains and oceans and forests and deserts and animals that crawled on the ground and flew in the air and swam in the water. Then he made people, Adam and Eve, to live in a garden called Eden. And God called everything he had made good. There was just one rule. Adam and Eve could eat anything they wanted except for the fruit from this one tree. But a snake tricked Adam and Eve into disobeying that one rule. Because of that, sickness, sadness, and all kinds of bad things came into God's perfect creation, all because people made wrong choices. Part of how God punished Adam and Eve was by not allowing them in the perfect garden anymore. And if that were the end of the story, that would be bad news for us. That would mean all the wrong stuff in the world would never be made right. But God still loved people, and He had good news for them. He was going to send a rescuer. So, they waited, and waited, and waited. Then one day, the rescuer was born as a baby named Jesus. Christmas is when we celebrate the good news of Jesus being born. But it's not just that he was born, it's what he did later that was the best news of all. He took the punishment for all the wrong choices that anyone has ever made anywhere. See, all of us have continued to make wrong choices, just like Adam and Eve did. And just like Adam and Eve, we deserve to be punished for our wrong choices. But here's the thing, Jesus the Rescuer never made a single bad choice. Kids, think about a time you made a bad choice. Maybe telling a lie, or taking something that wasn't yours, or hurting another person with something you did or said. Can you believe that whatever that was, Jesus never made a choice like that? And even though he never made a bad choice, he still took the punishment for our wrong choices? And then Jesus did something even more completely unexpected. He came back to life. Really, you can read about it in the Bible, in the stories written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We call those books Gospels, which is just an old fancy word for, you guessed it, the good news of Jesus coming to earth, dying for our wrong choices, and coming back to life. That's what we celebrate on Easter. But not just because coming back to life is totally amazing. By coming back to life, Jesus was showing that God can make anything new. There's nothing God can't do. He's more powerful than any sadness, shame, wrong choice, disease, disaster, and even death. And that's the best 
greatest, most amazing good news of all. It's so amazing, Jesus' friends told everyone they could find about the good news. And those people told other people. And those people told other people. And on and on. And that's still happening today. In fact, you just heard the good news. And the Bible says, Ahem. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's another way to say God rescues us. And that rescue includes you, your friends, your family, and anyone else in the whole world. And that's the story of the good news. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God made a perfect world. People made mistakes and the world isn't perfect anymore. God promised his family a rescuer. The rescuer's name is Jesus. Jesus died to take a punishment we deserve. But he didn't stay dead. Jesus came back to life. Because Jesus can make anything new. And that's a part of God's story. Ayan, marami po ba kayong natutunan sa ating pinanood sa teacher? Marami. And in addition to that, ito ay ang Bible. Dito natin makikita ang salita, ang mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. At bakit natin to kailangan alamin at basahin? Dahil dito po natin makikita ang katotohanan. And alam niyo ba kids? na ang salita ng ating Panginoon ay nagbibigay kagalingan, hindi lang sa ating physical na pangangatawan, kundi na rin sa ating spiritual, maging sa ating mga puso. At ang good news po, ang balita ng ating Panginoon, or ang salita ng ating Panginoon, ay ang nagbibigay sa atin ng daan sa tamang direksyon ng ating buhay. Ito ay nagbibigay sa atin ng katotohanan, ng kagalingan, maging ng kasiyahan, at ng kapayapaan. And napaka-powerful talaga ng mabuting balita, no kids? Napaka-makapangyarihan ng salita ng ating Panginoon dahil marami ang nagagawa nito sa ating buhay. Nagbibigay ito ng kapayapaan sa ating buhay. Kaya nararapat lang na ibahagi mo ito sa iba. Hindi naman pwedeng ikaw lang ang nakakaalam nito. Dapat natin itong share sa lahat ng tao at spread sa buong mundo. Lalo na ngayon, sa panahon ngayon, ay napakadali ng ibahagi ng mga bagay-bagay, ng mga balita, di ba? Kumakalat na nga ang fake news. Kaya bilang isang anak ng ating Panginoon, ishare natin ang mabuting balita sa iba. Sa pamamagitan ng social media, gagawin natin itong chance para ibahagi ang kabutihan ng ating Panginoon. And ngayon naman po ay dedako tayo sa ating memory verse na papamunahan ni Teacher Hila. Hi kids! Kumusta kayong lahat? Marami ba tayong natutunan sa tinuro ni Teacher Princess? Ayan, I hope marami tayong natutunan, no? Kaya pag-usapan naman natin yung memory verse natin for this day. Ito ay matatagpuan sa Acts chapter 20 verse 24. And it says, However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Ayan, no? Kaya kabisaduhin natin to kids. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito, no? Talaga na yung buhay natin ay parang maikukumpara sa sa kawalan kung hindi natin magagawa yung inuutos sa atin ni Lord yung task natin which is yung sabihin natin sa mga kaibigan natin sa mga kakilala natin at sa iba pang mga tao ang pagmamahal ni Jesus sa kanila kaya kids kahit bata pa lang tayo no palagi natin sasabihin sa mga nagiging mga kasalubong natin or makita natin yung pagmamahal ni Jesus para maramdaman din nila yung Uh, pag-ibig ni Lord para sa akin. Yun lang kids, kabisaduhin natin itong memory verse natin ha? Bye-bye! Thank you Teacher Hila! And ayan kids, kabisaduhin po natin ang ating Bible verse for today and i-apply natin ito sa ating mga buhay 
and i-share nyo ito sa iba. And share the Word of God to others. And ngayon naman po ay dadako tayo sa ating closing prayer. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes and let us pray. God, we thank you, Panginoon, sa inyong mabuting balita na ibinahagi mo sa amin sa araw na to. Salamat sa opportunity, sa chance, Panginoon, na ma-share namin ito sa ibang tao. And thank you, Panginoon, Lord God, sa inyong mga salita ng bibigay ng kagalingan, ng kapayapaan, ng kasiyahan sa aming mga buhay. And we pray, Lord God, na ma-apply po namin ito sa aming mga buhay at ma-spread pa po namin, Lord God, ang iyong mabuting balita sa ibang tao. And bigyan mo kami ng lakas ng loob para ma-share ito sa kanila. And ikaw, Lord God, ang manguna sa amin sa panibagong week na aming kakaharapin. Give us blessings, Panginoon. Ikaw, Lord God, ang mag-prepare sa amin, Panginoon, sa mga pagsubok, Panginoon, na aming kakaharapin, Lord God, sa panibagong week na ito. We thank you for the love. Thank you, Panginoon, sa iyong salita. Sa iyo po ang papuri pa sa salamat. Sa tayong pangalong mo lamang, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for listening and watching our online Sunday School. I hope na marami kayong natutunan sa araw na to and i-apply nyo to sa inyong mga buhay and share the Word of God to others. Ayun lamang kids, palagi kayong mag-iingat and God bless us all. See you next Sunday!